Okay, we're just going to log in to the back end of our website. So this is the front end of the website. You can see here, and in order to get to the back end, we've just got a little uh, login button here. We just click on that and then enter our username and password, which is encrypted. And that takes us straight into the dashboard. This is the dashboard, the back end of our website. Now, the easiest way to edit anything in this website is to bizarrely go straight to the front end of it. OK, so we can toggle between our dashboard in the top left hand corner, dashboard and then visit site. OK, so there's the front end. OK, so today we're just going to make a small change to a piece of text. And what we're going to do is we are going to change this, the size of this piece of text here. So quite a small thing to do. In order to do that, we are going to click on Enable Visual Builder. So everything, all the editing that you'll do on your website is using the front end and the visual builder. So I'm just going to click on that and just wait for that to load. OK, so now you can see it's still the front end of the site, but when we hover over sections, we get these little boxes that come up, these little options. So the way the website is built, the way all websites are built, it's a collection of um, text, image, multimedia areas. Each area is editable in its own right. So we've got section areas, which are the blue ones. Then we've got our rows, which are the green boxes. But the ones that we're only concerned with are these dark boxes. So you can see these sort of grey, black boxes here. In order to get into the section, the module that we want to edit, we will just hover over it. OK, so I'm just going to hover over. So we can see there, we can move it if we want to. We can go into the settings. We can duplicate our module, which would create two. Or we can download it to the library or we can get rid of it. So we don't want to do that one. The one that we want to do is the settings. So I'm just going to click on to settings. And there we can see the text that relates to this area. So this particular module is a blurb, which is a collection of both text and images. So if I click onto the image and icon, you can see our image there. So if we wanted to change that image, we can just click onto the settings like that. And then choose one of our other images. However, I don't want to do that. So I am just going to come off that. The only thing that I want to do is to change some of the text. Now the piece of text that I think doesn't quite look right is uh, where it says, let's just scroll down. Click here for a calendar of our events. Now at the minute, that piece of text is in caps. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the design and I'm going to title text. And I'm just going to click on that option there, which is highlighted in blue. And you can see straight away that changes it. Perfect. That's what I want to do. So in order to save that, I'm just going to save our changes on the green tick. Then, most importantly, you must click onto this purple dot here 
and then save the changes that you've made to the whole page. So it's a two-part process saving. We can then exit the Visual Builder and there's our changes so we've got rid of our capitals. Okay and that is how you would enter into any section of the website in order to edit.